Welcome to another brand new course from OrhanErgun.net. This course is called EVNG Basics. My name is Navid Yahyapur and I will be your instructor for this video series. I'm the CCI Enterprise Infrastructure and Service Provider Instructor at Orhan Ergun Company. This is the course introduction video. There is no prerequisite for this course. The only thing is willing to learn how to design clean topologies on an emulator. This course is a totally practical one with a step-by-step -step explanation, starting with what is EVNG and why do you need it, installation, adding the node images inside it, and designing a sample lab with tips. First of all, I will talk about the EVNG itself. What is EVNG and why you need it. Then I will compare the emulator versus the simulator. You will understand the difference between them. Then I will show you how to download and install the EVNG from scratch. In the next part, I will show you how to add the device images and I will talk about what type of devices you can bring to the EVNG and emulate them inside the lab environment. We will compare the IOL versus Dynamips versus Chemu nodes. You will realize the difference between them and where to use them also. Then I will show you how to connect to the devices, to the console of the devices using the Telnet and the VNC. Then I will create a sample topology, a simple one to show you how to create a lab inside the EVNG. In the next part, I will talk about the designing tools using the shapes, and text in a lab to make it understandable and beautiful. We will talk about the mapping a topology picture to a lab. Maybe you have a logical topology designed in any other application, topology designing applications such as Microsoft Visio, and bring it to the EVNG with mapping the nodes to the nodes inside the picture. Then, step by step, I will show you how to design a complex OSPF topology as an example. Then, I will analyze a professional detailed topology. These are the topologies that I will talk about them. This one, I will design step by step from scratch and talk about the technology and the design of it of course, you need to have some design knowledge of some specific technology in order to design a lab in an understandable way. For example, you must know what is the backbone area in the OSPF, then how the interfaces are participating in different areas, and so on. Continuing with the course, I will show you this topology and we will do an analysis in detail how and why I have designed this lab in this way. Then more with the EVNG, importing and exporting the topologies, how you can import and export the labs from and to the EVNG, even between the professional edition and the community free edition. Then I will show you how to provide the internet access or physical network access inside the labs. You can connect your nodes inside the lab into the internet and how to do that. In the next part, I will show you how to capture the links with the external Wireshark application how to connect the Wireshark into the EVNG. And I will also show you 
what is happening with the Wireshark inside the EVNG Professional Edition. Thank you for watching. Let's continue with the first video.